No, no, no. I'm talking about when you have an issue in your marriage, what are the rules, which rules and protocols around that? How do you delineate? We're no longer DS. We're, we're actually addressing an issue in our marriage. What are the boundaries around that? What's the clarity around that? What's the language around that? How do we solve problems in a DS structure? How do we solve problems in a marriage structure? How do we delineate between the two? How does he know when I'm wife and when I'm dominant? How do I know when he's husband or when he's submissive? That's what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to say this. It sounds like with the rules, which rules protocols, with the contract, he does like physical touch outside of kind of a scene or any DS interactions. Um, you want to touch him more because you're happy, but he views it as you being submissive. So I would say really work out the structure of when are we husband and wife, when are we dominant submissive, and when do we communicate when we're transitioning from one to another. That's huge. That's that's framework that needs to be established. But I would say without having a clear framework, just as a general piece of advice for you. I would say infuse infuse that erotic air of domination when you're being affectionate. So does he like degradation or humiliation? Yes. Okay. So I would say then be a little condescending. Be maybe a little patronizing. Talk down to him a little bit in those instances. So like if... If you are giving him a little squeeze and you want to say thank you for the cooking, then instead of showing that like, oh, I'm just a happy wife and I'm getting a good meal tonight, be like tap into that kind of erotic, seductive vibe a little bit. Maybe put on a pair of fabulous, hot as shit shoes. Saunter on in there. Dip your finger in the sauce that he's making. It needs more salt. Then walk out of the room. Come back in in a few minutes. Check back in. Play a little bit with it. And then once you get to like, okay, it does taste good. I do like it. Then maybe you dip your finger in it and you have him taste it. Like, see? And grab his cheek. You did such a good job. I'm so looking forward to this meal tonight. Good job. So you can show gratitude. You can be affectionate. But you can do so in a more erotic or seductive way. Mm -hmm.